Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you and showcase a new package for convenient eloquent filtering called Laravel Date Scope by Zacharias from Laracraft Tech, which would allow you to do something like this. Conveniently filter the time range. But this package has a fascinating backstory. And that's what I love about Laravel community and open source in general. So the story, Kayla Porzio, creator of Livewire and Alpine, tweeted something like this. Wouldn't it be cool to have something like this? 690 likes from the community, a lot of cheering, including from Taylor Otwell himself, who said it's kind of spicy, and the result. So this tweet was on April 7th. On April 9th, there was an article from this guy, Moomin Alessawe, showing how to do the same thing with traits in your eloquent model. So trait and then scope. This would be a manual solution to what Caleb was suggesting. But a day earlier on April 8th, Zacharias tweeted that he released a package, Laravel Date Scope, which I will show you today in this video. So just in a matter of a few days, the idea is taken over by someone else who wants to spend their time, and then the result is shared with everyone. So Date Scopes, I've installed it in my demo project, allows you to do a shorter version of this. So imagine you have some kind of dashboard and you need to filter the results, the eloquent model results by range of created ads. So today, seven days, last 30 days or something like that. Pretty typical dashboard with four badges on top. So users today, users seven days, 30 days and stuff like that. By the way, this dashboard is powered by windmill front end theme and generated with our package called Lara Starters. That's the package, it's free on GitHub, so you can do, instead of doing Laravel Breeze install, you can do Lara Starters as a starter kit, which would install Breeze under the hood, but then you would be able to choose front end theme from these ones like Windmill Notice and Tailwind components, and also some bootstrap themes. So you can try it out yourself. As part of that package, there's a dashboard and there's a list of typical table, and I added those. So these ones were added manually, not from the package. In the controller, I calculate the totals, and then in the index blade, I show those totals just like this. So nothing really fancy, just array of totals. Now that package of date scope allows to do this much shorter. By the way, side note, did you know about where date? So Laravel allows you, instead of doing date created at using mysql function you can have just where date with equals or this sign actually it should be this one the correct syntax because it should include the last day right so anyway you can do where date there's also where year where month where day and where time from what i remember and interestingly the article about where date is until this day if i look at my google analytics for laravel daily com it's number three most visited article over the last 30 days. Although it was written back in 2015, it's a very short article just talking about the fact that you can use where date instead of doing raw query. So until this day, it's one of the most popular articles on Laravel Daily.com website. Anyway, back to the main topic, instead of this set of four lines, you can have this syntax. So user of today, user of last seven days, of last 30 days, and of last days with any number you provide as a parameter. If we save the code, refresh the page, the numbers didn't change, the queries are the same, the syntax is just shorter. To use that syntax, all you need to do is add date scopes into your model of user model or whatever model you have. And then the package provides a lot of options for syntax of last seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, quarters, years, decades, millenniums, and also things like that, to now or to date. Also, there's configuration for that package, and there are a few quite important things that you can configure. By default, that package filters created at column, but you can override that in the config or in your env file. And also, this is important thing, by default, it uses exclusive syntax. What does it mean? It is explained here in the comment, but basically, do you include the today's day or not? So for example, last seven days, is it with today or without today? And since today is not finished, it means today so far, right? So by default, if you want to exclude the current day, week, month, year, or whatever you're filtering by, you need to have exclusive and this is default value. But if you want to include today, you need to change that to inclusive here. So yeah, just a few configurations, but 
I thought you would need to know. And yeah, this package is kind of like a small thing, but such small things one by one makes a huge difference for development experience. I will put the link to the package in the description of this video. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.